Hey everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how I've made these. They're good. I guess they're just the same as a pop-up box card, but they're just not having all of the elements popping up the top. I've kept everything inside here. So if you've made any of the pop-up boxes, I've got a massive playlist. I've got about, I think about 15 different ones. Um, I will link that there so you can check out that for some more inspiration. But I made these two, well, kind of made them. I, this one was kind of ready during my Facebook Live. So I thought I would do it for YouTube as well. They will fold flat and fit into a five by seven envelope. Now this one here I've got one more element which I'm going to add to that which I'm going to show you and uh, this is the one that is finished. I didn't get round to doing the glossy accents and this little cluster here during the live so for anybody that did watch that you can just see this now finished and I've also added in three of the silhouette birds here from the fabulous flight stamp set my one uh, I just thought they worked really well with this set and then on the back you've got room there to be able to write your message and these ones are both thinking of you cards so let me show you how to make them okay so I've already gone ahead and done all of the bits that I'm going to do for the one I'm showing you today but I am going to stamp another one of the lady and kind of explain all that to you so that you can use any stamps that you want you don't have to use the set that I have but I will go through that one in a moment so for the main card and this is easy to adapt and change to other sizes if you want to but this is for a five by seven so this is a piece of ten by five cardstock and along the ten inch side you want to score at half an inch two and a half, seven and a half, and nine and a half. Okay, that's it. And then you just want another piece of cardstock that's five by five. Now you're also gonna want a piece of cardstock that is six inches wide. Now, you know, I'm just gonna cut this piece of A4 in half. So you don't have to worry too much of the length. I mean, this is eight and a quarter, but once you see, you know, why, then, you know, you can cut more if you want to. But along the six inch side, you just wanna score at half an inch and five and a half and we're now actually going to stamp you know what we want onto this but you just want to make sure that you keep it to that width of six and it's within the two score lines that that is you know where you're going to stamp your images and cut around them and that's what these bits are here they're all five inches wide and then the half inch tabs either side are what you use to actually stick it into this you know square here okay so I'm just going to lay down the ones that I have stamped here already just again so you kind of get an understanding so here you can see the score lines at half an inch and at five and a half there so if you imagine this was on here you can see I've stamped my image there and then I've just cut around it and then coloured it as normal you can then stamp that one right above the lighthouse because you're always cutting around the top part and then if I wanted to I can bring in the stamp set here so this is the one that I've used this actually was given as a freebie with any purchase that you made with craft stash a couple of weeks ago so you had to purchase on that day to get it but also if you subscribe or you've been a long-term subscriber to creative stamping magazine this was from issue 72 and that's where I got my one from but I just thought it was a great one for this kind of you know style card and you have all these long kind of images so you can see the lighthouse one here which I've used you've also got the horizon with the sunset there and then on the back side here you've got the deck chairs which I've used you've got the lady sunbathing and then you have your beach huts which I haven't used at all but you do have this one I think I'm going to do this one as well which is again the kind of horizon line with the boats and I'm going to stamp the lady again for that other card now this one that I'm doing today, I've coloured it slightly differently, which some of you may notice, and I've actually done it that she's just sunbathing on the grass. Just wanted to see how it looked, because the idea with this one is that she's going to be like sat on the coast, kind of like the cliff edge, and well not the cliff edge, you know what I mean, we've got parts of this near where I live, and it's quite nice to just sit out quite high up and look out to sea. So that's what she's, you know, her view's going to be, and then the next one I stamp is going to have, I think this one here. So the idea is, is that those, I'm going to probably have the boats a little bit over to that side so you can see them within this area and she will be looking out at that. Okay, so that's the idea. So I'm just going to stamp these just to show you how it works. Like I said, it can be whatever you want as long as you're doing the size I'm doing, as long as you've scored at half and at five and a half there between. So I'm just going to pop this one into my platform and I'm gonna stamp the girl. Now you can stamp her you know, to the left or more to the right if you want to because on this one here, I stamped her to the left and then on for this one today, I'm actually gonna have her more to the right because I want her to be here filling this kind of area. So you know, you can move your stamps across but I guess the key part for this kind of card with the stamped images is to think about your placement. Think about how they're gonna kind of roughly look together, you know, and um, yeah. 
then you'll be able to kind of make sure everything you're going to see all the elements so like I said I want this here to be there so I'm not actually going to really stamp any of that so, so with this one here I'm actually going to come quite high up because the card the bottom of it is going to be hidden behind all of this here once I start building it hopefully it'll make more sense but I just wanted to show you different ways to use your stamps so I'm just going to pick that up and I've been using the Harmony by Spectrum Noir Quick Dry in the Noir Black because I'm just colouring with coloured pencils but it's perfect because it is an instant you know it dries instantly whereas um, even like your Versafine I love Versafine use it all the time but you, you do have to wait you know just a couple of minutes until it's completely dry whereas with this it, it is instant so you can see the lovely images don't worry if you go over because you're going to be gluing those in so you're not going to see any of that but I am just going to just stamp it one more time like so there we go just get a bit more of a darker image now you would continue to stamp some more if that's what you wanted you know depending on how many you need and stuff I've also gone ahead and done these because I'm going to add them to the one that I've partially finished and also to today's one as well now I need to decide how tall I want that to be so if I imagine that's going to be like that she's going to be down here like so so I need to cut this about here I'm going to pop it in my trimmer and just cut it there. Now what I'm going to do is just, you can colour it first if you want, but I'm just going to kind of pretend that where I can see that the rest of the horizon, you know, I could just can draw the rest of that in with some black pen if I wanted to, but the lighthouse is probably going to cover some of that. But I'm just going to cut just along here and then start cutting around it with a bit of a white border. I do like the white border, you don't have to, but whenever I fussy cut, I do tend to leave that in there. Okay, so that's ready for me to colour. And then with her, what I've been doing, she has got this, well, I guess it's more the sand than it is grass, but you can see it here. And then this here is the horizon line of the sea that she's looking out to. But I've actually been cutting that away and I've been cutting in from down here. So, you know, you can change your stamps. You don't have to have them exactly, you know, how they've kind of intended. Again, just snip away all the excess so it makes it easier to cut. And then when you get to here, you're just gonna, you know, just, I'm gonna do a few little waves in my cuts there just so it's not completely straight and just kind of cut it off there and then I can kind of continue that black if I want to, but now I know where to color. But now that one, once I've colored it in, is going to slide just inside here just to finish this card off and I'll show you how to do it from scratch with the other one. But you can see now, you know, she's looking out to the boats there in the in the distance. I just think it's a really fun way to use the stamps. And then on that one there, she's over to the left and she's looking out that way. So I just wanted to, I cut a lot of them and prepared a lot of them, you know, for the live. So I had these kind of left over. And then again, this one now, you can kind of, you know, tend to kind of place it all down so you're going to have that one with that one and then that one something like that and they will all have a half inch gap in between each one when we stick them in okay so before I colour those in so I'll pop that on high speed you want to get this piece and you need to cut your aperture now depending on your scene your theme all that kind of stuff you can have it any shape you want I'm just going to lay down this die here which is four and one eighths of an inch squared it's just from my nest of square dies four by four will be fine um, I wouldn't go any bigger because you can see the size of the frame that you get with that size you know you, if you start to go too thin it's going to be very flimsy but I have reinforced it with a frame here again I will show you that in a moment but I'm just going to sit this down in the center there and I'm just going to run that through my machine okay so just take that one away save that and now we've got our opening there and then you just want to very carefully just fold and burnish your score lines and then that five by five piece you'll actually want two pieces of five by five not the one because this one is going to go inside and we're going to stick those pieces like that and then you'll want another piece to cover that up now you could also stamp directly onto this ink it up all that great stuff and you could also use your pattern paper with this you may not want to do any stamping this is all pattern paper you might have lots of flowers all kinds of things inside so there's you know loads of ways to make this work for your style but now I'm going to pop it on high speed and I'm just going to get these coloured in.
Okay, so I've finished all of that and I've coloured this one here. I think it looks really nice. So I'm just going to pop some glue on the tab here and I'm just going to add this to the card that I've almost finished. This is just the last bit. So I'm just going to pop it in and I'm going to line her up with the bottom of the card and I'm just, I want it that same distance so the, the width of the tab you just butt it right up to that one there and then you can just stick them in and that way you get them equally distanced you know that half inches apart see each one there and there's that one now finished I think it looks really nice I love that one and then this one here so I mean if you want if you know where you're going to have them all then you know you could stick one in here on this side like so and then I can lay, in fact we'll do that because I, I think I did say in the live that I do this one this way just because it might be a bit easier for people. So I'm going to have, now I do have a sentiment that I also want to stick onto the back of this which is going to be this one here and it's going to be there. So you kind of need to, like I said, play around with your positioning because you want everything to obviously be seen. So. I can, I can bring it down about there. So I'm going to pop some glue onto this one side here. So it's a bit of a funny one in terms of measurements and things because everybody's going to have a different image that they use. But when you stick it in, you want this to butt right up to the score line here and I think I'm going to stick it about there. I think that would be okay for my sentiment. Yeah, that'd be fine. So I'm just going to stick that one there so it lines up with that fold there. Okay. Then the next one, again, is going to sit half an inch in front of that one because that's how wide the tab is. Um, and I think that's about right there because you can see the, the boats really nicely. So again, grab my glue, like so, and then stick this one in here and again it's really easy to do because you're just you're using the last one you stuck down as your guide and it keeps everything straight like so so now I've got those two in place okay and then we've just got to pop her in so I'm gonna add my glue and you've still got time to trim if you need to I know I'm not going to need to trim her but she is now going to go in fact, I'm going to lie her up, line her up with the very bottom of the card. Still that half inch apart, but the bottom is flush with the bottom of the card there. Like so. I mean, you could have these all the same, you know, length, so they all line up with the bottom. But you can see there, once they all go over each other, it really doesn't make any difference because you don't see any of that. But I'm really pleased that I think it looks lovely. It's a really nice scene. And then all you need to do with this side is lie it all down flat. If one looks like it's kind of going over into that area, it shouldn't, but I think I might have just maybe, I don't know, scored it a little bit wrong, but just trim it. But you want them to lie down like that so they all sit in front of each other. Add your glue to each half inch tab. So it's just the same way that I make the pop-up box cards. And I show that in many of the videos, this is how I do it, like so. Bring that over and that half and just lie that on top and it because of the measurements and just how we've done it that will all sit perfectly within that section and that way it's a good indication that it's all going to fold flat as well and fit into your envelope so hold that there and you can see that it literally falls perfectly in line with that score line there so now I can just bring it all over to the other side as well and now we've got our card isn't that cool? I want to be her. <laughs> so now I want to stamp my sentiment. So I think I'm actually going to use my stamping platform just so I can get a nice crisp image. So this one here is really nice. This one says, nothing soothes the soul like a walk on the beach. So she's had a walk on the beach and she's now looking down over the beach because I'm going to put this little sign in here which, you know, indicates the beach is that way kind of thing. So kind of sit it down here you're going to put the tabs on the back of it but it does just give me an idea of where I want that to go so just about there I think will be perfect and I'm just going to get that inked up 
I have to go over that side because there was a little hair stuck to the stamp and it got ink on it but I'm going to cover the other side anyway so you won't see it. So rather than waste the card I'll just flip it over. There we go. Now I'm just going to open up the sides here and I'm just going to add glue and then you're going to pop this one in make sure it's the right way. Obviously I've got my sentiment on that side as well. We and just make sure it all lines up, like so. And now we've got that lovely sentiment inside. And again, just make sure the whole thing folds flat, like so. And then I've got this one here. To get this, I just die cut this smaller frame with the larger frame, so you just get that inner frame. Again, I'm just gonna add my glue and very carefully. You don't have to do this, but I do think it just helps just frame that whole scene. Like so. And then it's just the detail. So I've got this one here as well. Okay, so those are my finished box scene cards. That's what I'm going to call this. And I just love them. I think they've turned out really, really cool. And um, I just like that you can do this with any stamp sets that you have, you know, have a look at what you've got and just build your scene. It's entirely up to you what you do. This could just be lots of flowers and leaves and things like that. But um, I do love these these stamps. They work really well with it. And I know some of the people that were watching the live had some other creative stamping magazine stamps and they're going to use them in this kind of style card. So I look forward to seeing those over on the group. So yeah, that's it. And what I've thought with this is what I'm going to do is cut another piece of the 5x5 five five to go on the back. And that's where you'll write your message. And then I'm going to pop the kite just up in the corner there. So, you know, you can stamp on the back. You can obviously do a lot more with it if you want. But um, yeah, and I'll finish it off with some glossy accents like I did there. You can see where it catches the light. And um, I think it looks really nice. There we go. I love that. So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and um, consider subscribing to my channel. And I'll be back very soon with another video. Bye.